In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Outlook calendar to see someone's availability for scheduling purposes. The same steps have been covered in the quick video tutorial on scheduling a Zoom meeting with the Outlook plugin. Let's get started. What you want to do first is go to the calendar that you're going to be working out of and make sure that you're in it. Go up to the top of that and in your menu bar click on new meeting. What that does is it's going to open up your scheduling meeting portal if you will. You can go ahead and type in the title of your meeting and then you're going to add your attendees. You can do required or optional and when you click on that it'll open up your address book and you can go ahead and select your meeting attendees. I'm going to pick one more person and we're going to add that person. I'm going to click OK and you don't have to make any adjustments here but you can if you want to at this point. Uh, let's just add a, a random date in here. Let's take a look at what the schedule looks like next week. This is the time frame I kind of have in mind. Let's see if this is going to work or not. So now while you've got all the information set up, you can go up to click on the scheduling assistant menu bar. And what that does is it opens up everybody's calendar so you can see, look for gaps that are mutually uh, respective for each person and find a good time to schedule your meeting. So it looks like on Tuesday from 10 to 11 is actually a very good time. We also had the option of 1 to 2. Um, and if you needed to, you could just scroll back and forth to take a look at the calendar sections and see what actually works beyond the immediate dates that you've picked. So once we take a look at this and I click inside, it will automatically fill in the date and time. And if you need to make adjustments for the length of the meeting, you can go ahead and make it right here and change that out and take a look at it one more time. Now that that's all set, I'm gonna go back to the meeting tab and I'm gonna review it one more time and make sure that I've got everything as I expected it on the date and time. We already know that people are available and then I'm going to go ahead and click send and when I do that it will send the meeting invitations out for people to accept or to decline.